blue states swollen with taxes like California or Illinois, rapidly losing residents to lower tax states. Some of the fastest growing cities right now, in fact, in America, are all in red states like Idaho, Texas, Florida, or even Tennessee. Our next guest helps people get the move on and settle down <laughs> in those conservative states in order to relieve themselves from that tax pressure. Let's bring in conservative move founder Paul Chabot. Paul, uh, what, what are these blue states thinking? I mean, they keep raising. Maybe they've gone too far. Maybe they've crossed the Rubicon and can't cut taxes like in Connecticut. But don't they see this mass exodus? I, I would hope they certainly do. Look, things have drastically changed in the last few years. You know, our business based in Texas helps families leave blue states, move to red states at conservativemove.com. And what we're seeing is a complete change of states. California wants a conservative state, state of Reagan, some of the best schools, low crime, great paying jobs. Now, as your network points out, many parts look like a third world country. They have pensions, deficits, uh, crime, drug issues, and for the most part, what you have left now is the coastal liberal elite or the working poor. And those families, those, those middle class families and those jobs and those small business owners are those that are yeah. coming to us to help them relocate. There's no doubt. I mean, uh, Los Angeles is like Dickens all in one, right? It's the best of times for a few and it's the worst of times for more. 55,000 homeless people sleeping in campers. Uh, how did you get the idea for this? And Tell us how well the business is doing. I would have to imagine it's not just California, but everyone might be calling you up right now. You know, they really are. They're coming to us from mostly all blue states, from New York, New Jersey, Washington, Oregon, California, and they're moving to a number of states. Texas right now is number one. Interestingly to me, Idaho is number two. Uh, and so Arizona's in there, Florida, a number of states. But my wife and I, we have four young children. We were born and raised in California, traditional California family, uh, you know, surfing, snowboarding, all those things, 43 years. But that state has become an absolute mess. Um, I was in law enforcement, military for a number of years, and what you've seen are these massive tent cities, no accountability for crime, schools at the bottom percentile, and very difficult to even afford a home because of regulations, not to mention taxes or gas tax. Right. So we moved to Texas to create a new life for ourselves. When we moved to Texas, we realized so many people had moved here for the same reasons we did, and that's why we created Conservative Move, to help families sell their homes in blue states, buy in red states, and the third aspect is also helping them find employment. Do, do you do all of this stuff, like uh, obviously it's a package deal, but do you try to secure the employment before they move, or is the confidence level so great that, hey, let's just get a buyer for your house, get you a new place, and we'll get you a job uh, within a, a short period of time? The confidence level is tremendous. Out here in North Texas, for example, uh, one of the most booming areas of the country with jobs. You have major corporations that have left California. For example, Toyota closed their North American headquarters in California, moved it over here to Texas. Thousands of jobs. They can't find enough workers. I'm told by our engineer recruiter that they cannot find enough engineers in Texas, 100,000 plus. But in California, they're underemployed or unemployed because there's no work for them. So there's definitely a better opportunity in these red states. What about an East Coast version of this. Uh, you know, New Jersey just hired a, uh, a governor who's, sure. who's, who's, who's lost his mind. Uh, uh, you know, there's already been a <laughs> yeah. massive exodus out of these states, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. It would seem to me like uh, you, your, your next big location would have to be maybe Florida, uh, Charlotte, and these kind of places. Yeah, we absolutely are. We right now have about 100 agents that work for us spread out across this country, very invested in their communities and know the regions. So the agents that work for us know the demographics and jobs, know the income levels, the prices, and they really understand, for example, schools. Where we are, our school district has a 98.2% graduation rate. That's unheard of in California. And so many of the people that are leaving are these middle class families that look around and go, I don't even recognize my communities anymore. They look at the drugs, the syringes. You saw what's happening in San Francisco yeah. with literally feces and needles yeah. and children having to walk around that. And the politicians in California could care less. Yeah, well, you know, unfortunately, you know, people keep voting the same same folks in. It's, uh, it's, the, uh, it's the ultimate Faustian deal. Paul, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Good work and great idea. I wish I had it first. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. <laughs>